What up now, folks? Big Brad 75 here, uh, coming back at y'all. Got a very special knife for y'all to view today. Les George VECP. And let me tell you, I fell in love. I am a believer in Les George knives. Let's just leave it at that. Got this knife yesterday, and it is phenomenal. It blew my mind. Uh, kind of reminds you of like a Chris Reeves Sabenza as far as the design goes. You know, it's got the two titanium handle slabs. Um, it's got a backspacer to where the Sabenza don't. I really like the backspacer on this. It's really nice. That's uh, a black G10, I believe. Um, superb lock up, lock disengagement, superb action. Just flies out there, rocks out there really well. Um, it's got a really good stone wash on the blade. Uh, that's not the factory edge. I took this from a new knife to a used knife quick, been carrying it and using it. Put it on my wicked edge, which you see right back there. Gotta love the wicked edge. I'm gonna support it to the end of days. That's a good system. Uh, yeah, I love that mirror polish day so Wicked Edge puts on there, but this knife's about the, or this, <laughs> this video is about the knife, the Les George VCP. It's got a really wild looking pocket clip on there. It's actually a lot better in person than what it looks like in the videos, or in pictures. Good blade centering on it. I really love this knife. Really love it. Nice looking edge. I put that at 17 degrees per side. I guess that'd be 34 inclusive. It's got the switchable pocket clip. Uh, tip up, tip down, right hand carry only. It's got the hinderer patented lock bar stabilizer disc. Locks up uh, right at 50% or less. Which is a you know a major plus unlocks really smoothly. It's got that uh, nice swedge at the top of the blade. Really nice swedge at the top of the blade. It's got the George CTS XHP laser marked on the blade. Really nice dual thumb studs. Don't act as stop pins. Uh, really nice thick pivot. Gotta love that. Um, what else can I say about this knife? Uh, to quote a buddy of mine, and I hate to say this, I love Chris Reeve knives and everything they stand for, everything they do, but this knife is kind of like what the Sabenza or Umnanzan could have, should have been. I mean, this knife is just amazing in every way. The ergonomics are great. It feels great in your hand. Looks really tactical, you know what I'm saying? Deploys great, action's really smooth, buttery smooth. Walks up great. See that one again. 50% or less. Centers up nicely. Here's a size comparison. Les George VCP versus Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Hadn't noticed, but they're pretty much dead on in uh, length when they're closed. Let's see about open length. Uh, it's kind of hard to get all that on camera. Very similar. Let's compare it now to the uh, Hinder XM18. It's three and a half inch XM18 slicer model, Gen 4. Um, as far as closed length goes, uh, the VCP might have like a sixteenth of an inch or something on it, if that. Not very much. Let's go with open length. Let's see how they compare there. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, about the same, maybe 16th inch difference or something, not much. Practically the same size as a three and a half inch hinder. And practically the same size as Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um, these knives are really hard to find right now, but Les George promises he's going to be pumping out a big batch soon. Uh, he says he's going to try to make enough to supply everyone's needs. That's going to be a tough package to fill, but hey, you never know. He could make it happen. Uh, I'd really like to get one of his customs. I plan to do my best to try to get a hold of one. He makes some really awesome customs. This is kind of his Sabenza, you know, so to speak. Um, the only difference really between this and his custom knives is he has the blades uh, machine ground instead of hand ground on these. He still custom fits them together, custom puts them together, custom sharpens them. You know, does all that by hand. So it's still a handmade knob. George CTS XHP, great steel. Um, sharpens up to a superb edge. I wish I had a piece of really thin receipt paper laying around. I'd show you. It's just sharp. But all right, guys, that's about it. I think I've rambled on long enough about this knife. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, really appreciate all the support I get from all y'all. Um, as always. Rate, comment, subscribe. Big Brad 75 out.